Okay, I'm walking along the beach here on Bowen Island. And look what I just found. have all the same five senses as we do. Remember what the five senses are? Okay, so first one being touch. So yes, absolutely, they can feel the touch of my finger. They can feel me touching them. They can feel water on their back. They can feel waves crashing against them. They can feel a seagull pecking away at the outside of their body. They can also, through that back actually that, we, that we're touching here, this is also where they breathe from. So their gills are all along the back of their body. So that is how they take oxygen from the water and through their gills. Super cool. Do you breathe through your back? No. So what's the next one? Smell. Sea stars can smell using their tube feet. So on the bottom of their body, they have these tiny little tube feet that help them walk along the seafloor and they're like little suction cups, but they don't have a brain. So they literally just walk towards whatever smells good as a way of just following their nose towards the delicious streets that they might find along the seafloor. Firm to touch. I'm still being gentle here, but I'm just giving it a little nudge so you can see whoop, those tiny little tube feet that I was telling you about that are holding on really tightly. So I'm just using this, the weakest little finger here to show you that even with a little pull, and it's sharp, look at all those little spikes. That's what keeps all of its predators away. Not many animals like to eat these guys because they're not too tasty, they're mostly just spines. But if you are a seagull in the springtime, this is actually a pretty good uh, kind of cleanse. Often seagulls, you'll see them kind of choking them down and that's simply because they use them as like a, a cleanser. They literally will like slowly digest them, choke them down, and then it will just give them a big, huge gut blast, if you know what I mean, out the back end. <laughs> so I just turned this rock over and look, there's a sea star there and there and there. Oh my goodness. Okay, so the next sense Ooh. is their mouth. So where do you think the mouth of a sea star is? It's not on their back. It's actually on the bottom. So as they're walking along the seafloor, they use their tube feet to find their food. And as soon as they do, they use those tube feet to hold on to it. And then from there, mm, I shouldn't tell you. It's too gross how they eat. Mm, you, won't, you won't like it. You guys will stop watching and be grossed out. Do you wanna know? Do you wanna know? <laughs> sea stars will take their stomachs out of their bodies and out of their mouth and plop it on top of their food. And this is so that, for example, sea stars love eating mussels, but they can't put a mussel inside of their mouth. They're already so hard and so is a mussel. And so instead what they do is they take their stomachs out of their mouth, put it inside between the two shells of the mussel, and then they digest it inside the mussel shell, and then they slurp it back up and then slurp their stomachs back up too. Isn't that amazing? So that is how they taste or how they eat. Can they hear? We know that they can detect waves of sound but and vibrations, but can they hear like you and I can? Probably not. Okay, so the final sense is sight. Can sea stars see? <laughs> what do you think? Can they see? Where do you think their eyes would be? A lot of people think that it is right here. Think that it's this little hole right here. And if they don't think it's their eye, what they, they think it is, is it's their butt. And it's not. It's not their butt. It is actually called their madreporite, which is a hole that allows water into their bodies. And if you've ever used a straw to create, to suck up water from, a, from your glass, sea stars do the same thing all the time using their two feet to hold on to the bottom. So they're constantly like suctioning. So they need to have water inside their body in order to create that suction. And so that hole, that madreporite, is what helps them create that water suction. Isn't that cool? So it's not their butt, it's not their eye. Where are their eyes? Okay, ready? Sea stars can see through the tips of every arm. They have a little tiny eye spot right on the tip of every arm. And you can see it right here. That's their little eye spot. So it's right at the tip of the arm and they have one on the end of every arm tip. Now this one's hard to see, them, all the little arm tips. Ready, here it is, Whoop, right there. 
So this little tiny eye spot is what allows them to see light and shadows. They can't see pictures like you and I can, but they can see light and shadows that allows them to tell that, tell them that, yep, it's daytime. It can tell them if they're under a rock or underneath something shadowing them or a predator's coming by. These little light spots allow them, give them a lot of great information. Often those sea star arms are often tipping up a little bit in order to look up and see the light and see the, see the sun. Some of you might be concerned about the fact that these sea stars have been out here for quite a while but that's just because they are intertidal animals. No matter if the tide is high or low, they're able to survive these incredibly different conditions from being under the ocean and being super cold to being out in the super hot heat. Pretty amazing. Sea stars are one of my favorite animals. I'm so glad we got to see a couple different versions here on the beach today, here on Bowen Island, here in BC. Remember, be gentle when you see marine life, take only pictures and leave only footprints. And remember to subscribe for more marine biology info. If you've already subscribed, thank you so much. And if you haven't, please do. Sea star sleeve using... Oh geez. Oh geez, there's a family behind me now. Do you think they'll want to hear? Anyway.